Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna bring you a battle from the 2nd of August, so going back a little ways now, but um, the point of this one is there was a time when I absolutely detested driving the M48 Patton tank and oh that time was roughly right around when I was doing a first 10 for it and then basically didn't touch the thing for a very 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 long time afterwards. And that had to do with the APCR as the stock round, the 90mm gun, which was nearing the end of its really effective, useful life in uh, technology-wise. The M82 nuke round is a good APC-BC shell, but again, it's kind of the end of its useful life and is really only most useful for side shots against most things. The... Uh, Mobility, when it's stock, is not great. It does have reasonably good neutral steering, but uh, it doesn't really accelerate very quickly. Now, you can see it's moving pretty well here, because I've got a bunch of upgrades for it, so it can get up and go a lot better. But anyway, uh, as you'll see now, um, I enjoy this tank quite a bit better now that I've got heat FS rounds and hash rounds and the M82 rounds and some other upgrades for it, so... Um, I suggest you use the ticket counter up at the top of the map to judge how much I'm cutting out of this because when I started this battle was over night or this video rather was over 19 minutes long so after all the trimming and stuff you'll see how much I cut down to get it down to as long as it is now all right so we've arrived at the capture zone in this conquest battle going to be able to pull up and get a pretty decently obscured little viewpoint here. And of course, just as I'm stopping and getting my gun barrel up and stabilized, an Object 120 goes screaming past. So I shot this Citroen here to hopefully draw the Object 120 out to come after me after I'd fired. But it was to no avail because he had gone around to the left-hand side of the city there. But he is sitting inside the cap a little bit. And uh, keeping me from capping it, so I let the team know. And then just held my position here. Waiting for him to back up or anything else to come in behind him. And he took out the Chieftain, but then another fellow M48 very quickly pulled in and finished him off. And that allowed us to start capturing the point for my first capture of the battle. After that, I did a bit of chasing ghosts around the city. And I'll show you a little bit of that, but uh, I'm going to trim most of it out because it's just empty driving around chasing after enemy contact on the map that never really amounted to anything with the exception and not exception of this little sequence right here i come around this corner there's an enemy stb getting strafed he gets hit right before i get a shot on him but that's okay there's a t-54 here and i'll just well he got killed before i could get my gun on him too so well then that was two quick chances that got snatched right out from under me pretty quickly there, but I didn't mind. It was actually kind of funny. And then it was back to chasing ghosts on the map again. So you can see that the enemy had taken the A point while I was chasing those guys around. And you can also see on the mini-map that I've got very little help up here with me in the city, but a decent amount of help coming back up from our spawn. So I'm going to sit here and hold this position, which is relatively well covered from um, the right side, and just sit and wait and uh, sit in ambush on anybody coming around the corner there to move in on our spawn and wait for teammates to arrive in force to reinforce me, and then we'll push in and go after the cap at A. 
So I was moving up, figuring by the time I routed myself around all the curves and bends in the road here, the rest of my team coming up from the spawn would catch up to me, and then an enemy got marked off to my right, and I figure, well, go deal with him so that my guys don't get caught in the uh, outskirts of the town and can actually move in and help us out in the city at the capture point. So I'm, again, detouring away from the cap, but we did have enough tickets at the time and enough teammates coming up in reinforcement that I could afford to go chasing after a momentary heart attack from the M60 there. And then it turns out it was a BT-5 over here, which is actually, on the surface, seems like a dumb tank to drive. But in this map, specifically for Conquest, it borders on Brilliant. Because if his team is holding the cap, which they are, and he can go and hide in some tiny little nook or cranny with some bushes on him and be very difficult to discover, he can sit inside the capture point and keep us from taking it back. And it could be really difficult to find him. I mean, eventually we'd probably find him, but it might be too late for our tickets and it might buy his teammates a lot of time to get back there because he could be scouting and or typing in his chat and saying, hey, they're here, they're on A. So not a terrible tank to drive for Conquest map where the con Conquest capture point is inside a bunch of city blocks and houses. As it is, he got killed out in the open around the edge of the city, but just the same. And we made it back into the A point with my M60 coming up behind me. There's a Type 65 that just got knocked out over down south at the edge of the town. And with the M60 pulling in behind me, I'm going to get around here to the edge of the capture point and wait for the enemy that was shooting at our spawn to reveal themselves. And they got bombed out. So I turned around to hopefully make it back into the A point, which Ordinarily would have been a bit of an issue, but with the upgrades I've got, tracks for instance, helping me turn there rapidly, and uh, combined with the pretty decent neutral steering, not an issue. Made it into the cap with meters to spare. And finished up my second capture of the battle. And that was where things finally started to heat up a little bit for us. So we've got five enemy tanks left, and as I'm moving up to intercept them coming in, suddenly an enemy medium gets marked on the map behind me, and I've got to turn around and hurry back to try and rescue my teammate back there, well, my teammates back there at the cap. And while they didn't knock any of my teammates out, they did make it into the capture point and start taking it back, so full speed ahead, driver, let's get back to A. And it turns out it's a Panther II, and he knocked out a Pershing for us, which isn't great. But I had the good timing on this guy to pull in just as he goes zooming past, and I put a really good hit into him. He's really not going anywhere. I got his driver, his transmission, and his track. And thankfully, he didn't start turning his turret until I had time to put a second heat FS round right through the side of his turret and finish it off his crew. And they have started capturing the A-point again. There's an enemy medium on top of my M60 up here to my left. And I'm going to zip around the corner as fast as I can here and help him out. Except he didn't actually need my help, which was, you know, okay. He was able to move out of my way, and I couldn't help him repair, so I just pushed forward trying to get up into the cap and make sure that the enemy team didn't take it. Now I'm waiting for him to get up here and get repaired and get into the cap, so I'm going to pull up alongside the neutral cap and hold off and just defend it against any enemies coming up. Like this T-44-100. Thankfully he seemed to have some crew issues and I did not. So I was able to reload faster than he was and put a heat FS right through his hull and detonate his ammo with it for my second kill. My teammate in the M60 is mobile, fully mobile, and we're going to roll ourselves into the A point and take it back again. It's a bit of a seesaw in this battle, but perhaps a little bit less of a seesaw than it appears in this video because there's quite a lot of 
dead time that I cut out of here. But it did still go back and forth. Now, I liked what the M60 did here. I'm set up guarding this alley here, and instead of pulling up right behind me, he goes forward and guards a second access point where he's covered from one side, and I can defend him from behind. And he can cover everything up to our front, and we're not both going to be hit by the same enemy coming up directly behind us, hopefully. And it didn't hurt that a Falcon came up and joined us at the cap as well. So once I finished reloading all my ammo, I set off again in search of trouble. So there were three enemies left. Our M60 just knocked out a ZSU-23-4, hiding out to the north of the citadel here, the fort. And then he finished off a T-44-100 right after that, leaving one enemy left out of the three. And there he is. I've got him in sight. And it's an IS... One? It's an IS-1. It's not even an IS-2. My goodness, what a lovely side shot I had on him, though. Excellent. So it's true that I used only Heat FS all battle, awesome. including for that final blow there, but really, he, Hash is kind of very specific and situational, and the M82 nuke round is essentially perfect for shooting into the sides of enemy tanks if you can get underneath their uh, fender. But other than that, I mean, between the tracks is a great place for it. Other than that, though, Heat FS is pretty much your best bet with the M48. And I should have actually named this video after one of my favorite Beastie Boys songs and called it In Threes. As I had three kills, three captures, and I finished in third place. Threes in threes. Good things happen in threes. But whatever. We ended up winning. That's the important thing here. And uh, it wasn't really that bad of a battle for the M48. So, it is still a viable tank, but you do kind of need to get favorable matchmaking, which I did here. It's a little less, little less viable if you get a full up tier, but you can make it work. You just got to be careful. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next War Thunder video sometime soon, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care, everyone.